Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use image transparency in Blender 2.8. So let's open up the web browser. I'm on this website called Pixabay and in the search, I'm going to type in PNG. And if I search for PNG files, they typically will have a transparent background. So let's take this image here. This one, I'm going to middle mouse click to open in a new tab. We'll find one other picture, maybe one of these cars. Let's try this black car here, this one here, right? So we've got two pictures here and you can see they've got transparent backgrounds. We'll click free download and I'll download the highest resolution here. And we'll click on this one, free download and also download the highest res. You don't have to download the highest resolutions, but uh, we'll just get better image quality if we do that. So let's drag this picture in here and drag the one with this, uh, this girl with the school and the car. So let's close down the web browser, open up Blender. I've got a blank file here. Let's click on general. We'll select the cube and then hit the delete key. In fact, what I'll do is turn on my key logger. So let's uh, turn this on so you can see what's going on as well. And we'll select the cube here and we'll delete it. And we'll press shift and A. One thing to note is if you go to edit preferences, Go to add-ons and then type in plane, P-L-A-N-E. And just make sure import export images planes is selected here, right? Just tick it off because you can actually import them uh, from here, the images planes, I believe. Yeah, images planes, but you can also uh, shift A. So press shift and A and then go to images and then do images as plane from here. I find it easier, right? So we'll select that and we'll go to my desktop and we'll select the this the picture of this school girl right with the books and we'll click import image so you can see the image here it doesn't look right it's just a gray square we need to go into render view right so let's turn on render and now that we can see the girl in here and it isn't looking quite right you can see it just looks a bit rubbish doesn't it so we want to get rid of the black background let's go over to the uh, material here so it's, it's been applied as a material to this plane right this image and inside of the blend mode, you just need to select alpha blend. That's it, job done. Now it's transparent. So let's test that to make sure it's actually transparent. What we can do is just add an object. So let's just zoom out a little bit, press shift and A, and we'll just add some sort of object. Let's add a, a UV sphere. Let's press S to scale that right down, and we'll just drag it behind, right? So let's just, uh, let's just move that sphere behind. I'll press G to grab it, then X. I'll just move it behind and let's just uh, maybe move it up slightly. So let's just grab it, and move it to like around here. So let's see now, right? So we can see obviously this sphere behind and you can see the, the, this picture overlaying it. You can even see through the hair here that, you know, it's truly transparent, right? That's what you wanted. That's what you get. So let's just set up our camera quickly. Control Alt Zero so we can just see that. And let's just press F12 and we render. Now we can see the sphere behind and we can see this uh, PNG file uh, in the foreground. And you can clearly see this transparency there now, right? So that's what we wanted. Uh, we could probably be wise to go to the background and set it to white. Maybe not white. Let's actually just leave it like a light sort of gray. And we'll click on this sphere and let's just change its color so it's a bit clearer. Let's just change it something to like, maybe like a light blue, right? Now we can test it and we can see clearly the transparency. So let's try the other image. Let's select this one. I'll press G to grab it, Y to move it across. Let's just get that one out of the way. Press Shift and A, and let's go and add the um, image as plain as well again, and we'll select the car, and we'll import that one. So here we, see, here we see the car now, right? Let's just press S to scale and scale it down a little bit. Let's scale it to around sort of here, and we'll just grab this sphere, and we just move it across to this sort of corner here. Let's select the car and let's go to its settings and go to the um, blend mode and set that to alpha blend as well. And then look, you can see the drop shadow looks good. Everything's looking pretty good. We'll press F12 and you can see that rendered out with the transparency as well. I'm going to give you a couple more tips quickly. I'm going to select this car, press G to grab and Y to move it out of the way. Let's bring this other picture back. I'll just press G to grab Y and move it back again to somewhere sort of in the center and we'll just move that um, that sphere back again let's just select it G to grab let's just move it behind here I'm only putting that there so we can see the transparency is working correctly right uh, let's click on this picture a couple of just one little tip for you right if we select this picture and go into the shading mode shading and press zero we can zoom in on this picture 
and this is the node setup for this picture right it looks a little bit complex but it's nothing special here um now with this diff normally it's set up to diffuse here you can see diffuse here and normally what i would do is delete the diffuse press shift and a and go to the shader and add an emission shader here and connect the color to the color here and connect the emission to here uh, the reason i do that is now i've got control over the brightness of the image so that's just a little tip for you you don't have to do that but now at least uh, you've got some sort of control you can darken it down you can even animate this now right you can have it sort of show and if you just want to brighten up the image then you can brighten it up a bit more and if we press f12 we can see it's nice and bright now right that's just a little tip for you that's not really to do with transparency but i do that sometimes if i just want to brighten the image normally you do that maybe in photoshop before you import the image or, or in gimp software but you know if you don't want to go through that headache why not do it directly in blender and then you can see that all set up so i won't make this tutorial long people asked how to do this apparently the old tutorial i did doesn't seem to work anymore so i thought i'd just go through this and uh, show you this example here very simple right so let's just go to file save as and we'll go to my desktop and we'll just call this uh, transparent images in blender so i'll just save this file for future reference if i need it i'll put links to these images that i've used in the youtube description let's close this down let's close this down that's the end of this tutorial i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial